Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. Each time I publish an update of my retirement portfolio, its asset allocation and other details, I get this question that uh, you're 46 years old. Why are you still holding 60% of equity for retirement? Is that not too much of uh, equity at that age? Now, uh, this is per perhaps the perfect example of uh, how uh, um, people make judgments based on just looking at percentages without actually looking at what the underlying value is. And also it is an example of um, how your own goals uh, keep evolving, keep changing uh, as you go through different stages uh, of uh, investing for retirement. So uh, like I mentioned recently, I've been uh, investing for retirement for more than 10 years now and I've been uh, making retirement calculators for uh, a little longer than that. Um, I have gone through different stages and when, when I saw the first uh, retirement calculator result for my own portfolio, uh, the, the result was pretty much what uh, everyone gets. Uh, you, you are you will not be able to invest enough for retirement. That is the in investment required is just too much. Now from there, I have gone gradually uh, to, uh, uh, to higher and higher net worths. But this is something that I could not, uh, um, you know, uh, envisage at that time. I could not sit and think of my income growing bigger or my portfolio uh, not having any returns for five years and then suddenly surging up overnight, completely changing my social station within a span of a few months and so on. That, those kind of, um, um, uh, you know, uh, twists and turns on the journey is not something that you can sit and visualize uh, from day one. So uh, it does look daunting at first, but you have to uh, put your head down and start investing. The, the thing is that as you keep investing and as your net worth grows and it will, young, young earners have this problem. They say that, uh, no, I will never be able to invest enough for retirement and so on. But that's not true. You are just too young. You, you will not be able to uh, visualize the growth that will happen in the in the coming years. So don't worry about it. Just put your head down and invest. Now, as your net worth grows, uh, what happens is your perception of risk, your how much risk you can take or how you want to change your portfolio. Um, everything changes. Now, um, if I were to use the robot advisory template and uh, punch in my numbers, it would say for a 46 year old, uh, this is the kind of suggested equity allocation that is it stays at 60% for a few years and then it starts dropping down until 60. The robot with template assumes that retirement is always at 60. Uh, my personal retirement technically is age, uh, is 65. So from 46 to 65, there's quite a bit of time left. And uh, so even if, I, uh, even if I go by the book and go by this plan, 60% is not a big deal for me. But the problem is, uh, there are two situations here. If I am already holding 60%, which which I am, then this is not a problem. It's very easy to uh, uh, fall uh, fall in place according to this plan. But if, if I don't have much of equity and I'm already uh, in the late 30s or early 40s and so on, then there's a big problem. Then you have only two choices. One, you have to consult a SEBI registered fee-only financial advisor or you can uh, DIY and create your own um, financial plan uh, where you can't uh, you can't suddenly go from 10% uh, equity or 5% equity to 60% equity. You can only go to 20, 30, 40% equity within the next few years, three to four, five years. You must be able to quickly accumulate that equity. Are you capable of handling that? Because it, it's very easy to put the money, but can you handle the ups and downs or uh, lo long periods of no returns? Is uh, is completely another issue. So. Uh, but that's the problem for somebody who doesn't have that uh, uh, that much equity. Now, um, so most of the people who are surprised about the 60% holding are people who don't have that much equity uh, uh, in the in the uh, in the 30s or in their mid 30s or even early 40s. Uh, that's because you don't know how much that actual value of that 40% is. That 40% could be a huge number. In principle, I'm not saying it is for me. I'm just saying in principle, it could be a huge number and you don't know what that is. So you cannot judge by uh, uh, percentages. You can't say, oh, that guy is holding that much equity. That's too risky. You can't say that because you don't know what is the value of the fixed income portfolio. The other thing is, although uh, 
ये प्लान एंड टेकिंग एस मेनी नोन एज पॉसिबल इन टू द फाइनेंशियल प्लान इज इंपॉर्टेंट वेन इट कम्स टू एक्चुअल इन्वेस्टिंग यू यू शुड नो द प्लान एंड यू शुड ऑल्सो नो हाउ टू डिविएट फ्रॉम इट वेन टू डिविएट फ्रॉम इट डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ द सर्कमस्टांसिस चेंज बिकॉज नो बडी इन द राइट माइंड वुड हव thought about a pandemic and a market crash because of the pandemic and so on so uh, those kind of things are always going to happen you you're, you're always going to have to play it by ear uh, at uh, any given point of time but for that you should first have a plan so uh, and what happens is as you grow uh, old along with the portfolio your risk taking ability also changes and uh, today i am thinking of uh, can i uh, 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 can, uh, can i invest uh, in in 60% of equity all through my life can i hold it beyond retirement as well those are the questions that i'm asking i i always talked about 30x as being a threshold for financial freedom where uh, where x is the annual expenses that will persist uh, um uh after retirement so if you have if x is the annual expenses that will persist after retirement currently then if you have a net worth of 30x then for zero real return where your post tax return uh, uh after retirement is equal to inflation then is uh, then the real return is zero then 30x would mean the corpus would last for about 30 years approximately so 30x is the threshold of financial freedom it's not exactly financial freedom so that is with respect to the whole portfolio now once you go past the 30x 35x and higher and higher and higher and higher you start thinking differently you want to achieve 30x with only your debt allocation alone that's your that becomes your secondary goal so the uh, the point i want to convey is that you can't look at one man's uh, percentages and make uh, uh, conclusions based on that second your own goals will keep changing as you um uh, as you keep investing and you can never envisage the kind of growth or the kind of ups and downs your portfolio can have in the future at, uh, when you are just about to start investing so don't think about all that put your head down and keep investing things will happen good things will happen but you just need to uh, invest without expectation the big problem with us is we are expecting too much too soon that's never going to happen and uh, so i'll catch you later bye bye